Tonight, from Mexico City, it's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. see Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers taking on Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store between the Atlanta Falcons and the San Francisco 49ers. Here's the Australian-born punter Mitch Wisnowski to get things going. And we are underway from Mexico City. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. Well, he gets attended to. He'll step aside. First down. And his first look is incomplete. And the tight end, Luke Stocker, was the target. And now it's second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. They go play action with Ryan. Looking deep for Julio. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 53 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath, but nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. It was Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. 
Ryan. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The one with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Short throw underneath to Hurst, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. see young way Koo now for the Falcons this from 42 yards out and his kick is good and the Falcons are out to a three nothing advantage makes the score Falcons three 49ers nothing had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. Taken about seven yards deep. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Out comes the San Francisco offense as they are led out by their quarterback, the man known as Jimmy G. That's Jimmy Garoppolo. And when Jimmy Garoppolo came out of Eastern Illinois, many people saw a strong-armed guy, well-schooled in the passing game, who needed a little bit of time to develop and reach his potential. Starting to go in that direction right now. A former linebacker in high school, he plays the game with a lot of toughness. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought down. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. This is fielded at the 27. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. 
So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it? Touchdowns. And they're throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. down with Ryan and a quick throw here that's complete his second catch this one not quite as dynamic as his first and it's second down when you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage throwing again on second down Ryan to the right side and complete to Hurst. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 25-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Falcons three, 49ers nothing. Settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Ryan will throw again. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On third down, Ryan. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. The wind is at his back here in the second quarter. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. 49ers nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but six nothing. So field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Sterling Humphrey. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. 
Here's Richie James on the return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They are still in search of their first points of the ball game, but only down 6 0 as they begin with a first down. Southern man, this is Jarek McKinnon. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to the feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. To throw on second and six, Garoppolo. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for. And it's third down. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the Niners move the chains as Garoppolo hooks up with Taylor. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. First and ten, it's Mostert. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. If they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. There's Garoppolo on first and ten. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jarek McKinnon there, but it'll be second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. Garoppolo again. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. And that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. Third and long. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. 
And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. But ran the perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And now let's discuss Julio Jones. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. On first and 10, it's Ryan. A slant to Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Gurley now out of the gun. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. The Falcons going to use the second of their counts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the shotgun, Ryan. He completes this to Russell Gage. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. flag will rain in as well and that would appear to be a face mask so they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end just trying to do your job right trying to get him on the ground next thing you know they'll march off another 15 against your squad So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 37. And his kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Matt Ryan. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
the 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24 yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working and call more of that. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 24. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Garoppolo. It'll be a pick up of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation when they have a much better chance of picking up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Here's Ryan toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That keeps the score. Falcons. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. in the air fields it in the middle of the end zone and we see James he will now return it and they'll bring it out to the 25 San Francisco set to go on offense once more up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Garoppolo to 
try again after the pick six. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. And yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Garoppolo now. Got the connection here to Bourne. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Garoppolo connects with Kittle underneath. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. First down now, run with McKinnon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. search of their first touchdown of the game but they're on the move first and ten Garoppolo looks to throw and he's corralled but not before getting it inside the 35 another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down but look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Draw play, Garoppolo gives to Mostert. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, They've got to pay it off with some points. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Once again, it's Mostert. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons 21. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and ten. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brought him down. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and a couple. Garoppolo. Open man is born. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Four. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against him because you're running away from people on it. 
first and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Mostert. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, if you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this game. Moving the football, got to be that way to go against them and try and get some points on the board. And I'm curious on the defensive side if they stay aggressive because you know they want to pitch this shutout. Yeah, they have to be aggressive, but they also have to be smart about it as well because one mistake can turn into six points. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. They come up again here, third and goal. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Fourth and goal. The field goal doesn't help. They're gonna go for the six here on fourth and goal. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The struggles continue here offensively. Still nothing for him on the scoreboard and now an interception. Yeah, the offense looks extremely sluggish. Not really in sync at all. Dare I say, it looks like it got left behind in customs. Oh, you've had that in your back pocket. <laughs> you were waiting for that. Probably should have left it in my back pocket, too. Well played. just run the football be conservative he's sticking to his game plan no that is his game and that's what they're gonna ride so still backed up but the situation not as dire now first and ten at the 14 they'll try and choose some clock with Gurley and a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20 carrier Solomon Thomas there on the tackle I have to chuckle to myself a little bit Brandon because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line I know exactly what they're saying if you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself, and that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. 
And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. send out their punter always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter and a fair catch taken back near about the 35 36 yard line 37 yards on the punt with no return and the Niners will go on offense first and 10 so Jimmy Garoppolo and the offense down by 15 a minute 50 to play they've yet to dip the scoreboard tonight now they've got to do it twice late if they want a chance here Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield. And too much time is going to run off the clock. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo, that's going to be caught by Samuel. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Third and two. Garoppolo to throw. They're able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they get five there on third and two. They give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. 48 yard line. Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. On first down, Garoppolo. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. It's certainly that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You just got to pick up a holding call. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Now right to board. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Open man is IU complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Garoppolo to Ayuk. First down, 49ers. 10 at the 37-yard line. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. 
Garoppolo again. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. 26-yard line. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you did know. Did enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long, everybody.